The solution to this is to use a complementary measurement mode in the FLS 1000, which is called multi-channel scaling, single photon counting, or MCS mode for short. The basic layout of MCS mode is quite similar to TCSPC. We've got some counting electronics, a laser and a sample and a detector. But the difference here is that this time the timing electronics trigger the laser rather than vice versa, as in the case of TCSPC. So the timing electronics send a trigger to the laser, tell it to fire. The laser fires and excites the sample. The sample emits multiple photons, which are detected by the detector and converted into electrical pulses, which are then recorded using the timing electronics. And how this works, is that the timing electronics has a, a time gate and any photons that arrive within this time gate are counted and the number of photons that arrive within the gate are added to the histogram stored in memory. The time gate is then moved to the next position in time in order to see the photons that arrive later and the photons in the next region are counted and added to the histogram and so on. And the, the time gate is swept through the entire time range. And this builds up uh, the complete photoluminescence decay uh, in a single shot. However, the number of photons here is typically very small. And in order to increase the signal to noise, you will then repeat this process many times. Uh, so again, flashing the laser uh, thousands or tens of thousands of times to build up a high signal to noise photoluminescence decay. But the key thing is that multiple photons are detected during each flash of the laser. MCS mode is ideal for measuring longer lifetimes where TCSPC would be too slow, such as delayed fluorescence and phosphorescence. An example here is shown on the left, which is the phosphorescence decay of a europium complex measured using MCS mode, which revealed a lifetime of about 120 microseconds. So MCS mode is the faster of the two techniques, but the downside is that it has a much lower time resolution. So MCS has a 10 nanosecond time resolution, where TCSPC has 305 femtoseconds. So TCSPC is the method of choice for measuring fast fluorescence lifetimes or lifetimes that contain very fast components, where you require a high time resolution and for delayed fluorescence and phosphorescence, where you want to just acquire your measurement quickly, then MCS mode uh, is the, the, the method of choice. Just a quick word on the excitation sources for these different measurement modes. So we have two different ranges of uh, lasers and LEDs. Uh, for TCSPC and MCS. So the first is the EPL and EPLED series. So these are picosecond pulsed uh, lasers or LEDs. The main advantage of these sources is they have very narrow pulse widths and they're ideal for measuring fluorescence or strong delayed fluorescence emission. And the EPL and EPLEDs can be operated in both TCSPC and MCS mode. The other light source we have is the variable pulse length laser or LED. So this source has a pulse output that is user adjustable. 
So the user can change it from about 100 nanoseconds long out to millisecond pulses or even CW mode. And this delivers much higher power to the sample. And the VPL and LED are therefore ideal for measuring weak delayed fluorescence and phosphorescence emission. And these lasers can be operated in MCS mode. 